Hello from Seoul. Today is our second day here in Seoul and we're gonna hit up some of the hottest tourist sites today. Let's go! Before we do any sightseeing though, I need to go grab a snack because I am so hungry. So it's time to hit up a Korean convenience store. So if you are ever in Korea, one thing that you have to try is the kimbap here and especially the spicy one. So if you ever see anything with like fire on it, that's how you know it's going to be really good. Our first stop of the day is the Gyeongbokgung Palace. It's one of the most famous palaces in Korea, and I can't wait to see it. We got our ticket. We're ready to go. It was, I think, 3,000 won per person, so about $3 Canadian per person. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So the Gyeongbokgun Palace is the main palace of Seoul, or it was the main palace of Seoul, I should say. And it was actually destroyed during the Japanese occupation, and then it was rebuilt, and then it was destroyed during the second Japanese occupation, I guess. Um, but now, for since 1990, they've been continually restoring the place and bringing it back to its former glory, so it's pretty cool looking. We're just gonna explore it a little bit. Guys, we sneakily managed to join this English tour group. So, it's so hot at that time, we, uh, we learned the letter. Okay, the, it's basically the tiny tip. So, one really cool thing that we learned during this tour is that Hangul was actually invented by the king, I guess, or like, I'm sure like it was probably somebody else that helped him, but. The official story is that Hangul was invented by the king so that the uh, lower class people would be able to read and write because before that they used Chinese characters and as many of you know there's like a billion Chinese characters and for Hangul I think there's like 26 characters only so it's obviously much easier to learn. Yeah, much easier. Pretty cool. We're learning so much. We're all done with the Gyeongbokgun, I think that's how you say it, palace. And now we are gonna go somewhere that has AC because it is so hot and humid today that we just need to get out of the heat for a bit. So we decided we needed to have a quick free little break. So we grabbed some drink and a nice little egg salad sandwich. Now the egg salad sandwiches in Japan are like the greatest egg salad sandwiches ever. This looks pretty similar. So I'm hoping it's equally as good. It's very good, but it's not quite as good as the 7-Eleven egg salad sandwiches in Japan. But it's still really good. Next stop, Bokchan Village. <laughs> So basically what Bokchan village is, is this old heritage neighborhood essentially uh, that still has all of its original heritage homes and so it's really cool to just walk around and some of them are actually like just regular old like residencies like people are just living here and some have been converted into like uh, hotels and guest homes and yeah little shops I think so it's really cool it's definitely cool to wander around there's a couple of areas that Clearly people are still living in it and they say like don't come here, don't take photos. Mm -hmm. But overall you can still walk around most of it. 
And yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's really cool that in this old village, people are still living in these old houses and keeping the heritage here. It's kind of interesting to see. We've had to make a pit stop. We saw Daiso and Sandy decided she needs more fake lashes. I mean, out of all your shopping, I don't mind this because it's only like a dollar each, so that's not too bad. And we got some tissues as well. Or at least I think it's tissues. I can't read Korean. We needed more tissue paper. We have made it to the river pathway, the Cheongyacheon. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure actually. And also I probably said that really wrong anyways, so ignore that. But anyways, it's a really beautiful pathway. So I think we're just gonna walk around here a little bit, enjoy the river, and then slowly make our way back to our Airbnb. All right, now we are heading back to our Airbnb because it is definitely getting hot again. And we're also just really tired. We walked like 20 something thousand steps already. After a nice rest at our very well air conditioned Airbnb, we are ready to head back out. And we're gonna get some dinner. If you're into like streetwear, Hongdae is definitely the place to be. There's so many shops here. So excited to buy some toys. I mean, we don't have that much space in our luggage as always, so maybe like one t-shirt. Maybe one t-shirt, one skirt, and uh, one top. So we decided on dinner tonight. We got some Korean barbecue. So we're just cooking it up right now and it looks really good. And the place we're at does unlimited barbecue. So it's like $15 Canadian each and you get unlimited meat, which is kind of crazy. So we're definitely gonna try to make the most out of it. Get a piece of lettuce, get some meat, get some sauce on said meat, put it in the lettuce, add some stuff onto it. We got some, I forget what it's called. Spring sprouts, spring sprouts. Bean sprouts. We got some kimchi. I'm running out of a kimchi. kimchi. You just kind of wrap it up and eat it. Sandy, the grilling master. So guys, like we said, it's unlimited meat here. But I feel like we're like wimps compared to some of the people here. When I'm like going up to get more meat and I look at other people, their entire thing is full of meat. They have like a pile of meat. And I'm like, oh, there must be like 20 people here. No, 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 it's just two dudes. Like two dudes are eating that much. I can't eat that much meat. How much did we eat so far? How much did we eat so far? Yeah. I don't know, we have like four pork bellies. This is our fifth one. We got a bunch of these curd steaks. So we got a, I don't know, we ate a lot of meat. We actually did pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. But I'm very full. Peter is being an alcoholic, drinking all the soju. It's because Sandy won't drink any. She's the yeah. one that wanted soju. But I thought it's okay to leave a little bit. It's no, fun. if we order the soju, we finish the soju. Why? Because that's what men do.
that meal was the perfect way to end the night. And we're gonna slowly walk back to our Airbnb because we gotta walk all the meat that we ate. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.